I want to know who said you don't work hard in New York for this for this box truck money. Y'all yeah, just wheel this pallet with dog food a block and a half because there's no parking on Steinway in Queens. understand this I'm gonna have a conversation with this broker today because I already told him I don't do delivery I do dock to dock so I'll be looking for some new work if this don't pan out it was four pallets for five four four pallets for 400 so but this one stop here got a little ridiculous, man. So, this ain't really my cup of tea. So, me and him gonna have to have a conversation. You see me, I don't sweat a lot, man. I ain't for the sweat, man. I did 30 years of working. And I retired to do this. And I ain't intending to sweat. So, we gonna have to cap up this conversation. I get it in the back of the truck pull the pull the pull the pallet to the end let the forklift do it but this delivery shit oh no uh uh put me on the interstate and let me let me be out there on the interstate going to some um going to some warehouses this right here is for birds not to knock anybody's hustle, but everything ain't for everybody. And this damn show ain't for me. So, but this is New York. This is what we deal with. Got this taxi driver looking at me. He was looking at me when I was taking this stuff off. He thought. Everything was a wrap. He thought all this shit was gonna fall. But he don't know. Baby, I'm from New York, New York. We make it happen. But pulling a pallet a block and a half, that ain't happening no more. I I'll, I'll be putting a, I'll be putting a for sale sign on this here, on this here, uh, on this truck before I do that again. And it's 100 degrees out here, but I just wanted to get the job done, and then I'm gonna let him give him a piece of my mind. Gotta hold on. being in the street shit neither. The motherfuckers want to play games. They can lock you in the back of your truck. They can do all sorts of crazy shit. So what I do is I take my strap and I put it on top. This shit. And I worry about getting this down. Motherfuckers just come up there and lock me in this bitch. You gotta be mindful. We in Gotham City. Anything goes out here. New York. These are some trying times. But you gotta still try and get to that. Get to that money. And understand this, the end goal is for me to get an employee to do this. But when you drop 30,000, and put it into something, you're not, you not too keen on just handing anybody the keys. So I gotta get some of this capital back and then somebody else is gonna be in this and I'll be on to something else. 
somebody told me, well, what if they wreck it? What if they wreck the, the truck? That's what insurance is for. They're gonna be in there on the insurance. Everything gonna check out. They're gonna get hired. But like anything else, you can have mishaps. I get it. You can have mishaps, like anything else. So um and that's what it that's what insurance company does. So, it wasn't a bad day. Considering I started at, I think, 11 and 5. So, 6 hours. I think I put a total of um, 75 miles on the truck. Total of 75 miles. $400. So it wasn't too bad, but I'm not with the, um, and this is another thing. Look, I got pallets. I'm not used to having pallets. What do I do with this? This is a first, but like I said, I'm hanging up from you guys. I'm going to talk to our good old broker, and we're going to have to have a discussion. I just came back from upstate doing a, a over the road. And the next day, I'm over here dropping pallets and then people telling me, you know, bring that over here or some some dude, some clown, goofy dude. Yeah, break the pallet down and bring bring the stuff to the back. I said, oh, no, nah, no, nah, mister. I said, no, nah, that's not, that's, that's not what I do. He's like, well, well, I'm going to call, I'm going to call the people he, del he, he ordered from. I said, okay. That's fine. And then lo and behold, three guys come out from behind. From from three guys came out from from uh from behind in, in his store. Three guys he had back there. But he ready to make me pull a pallet up and um take everything off of it. And it's a hundred degrees out here. The only reason I, I wheel this pallet, I ain't want to get a ticket. All right, because this is truck parking right here. See that? Truck parking, truck loading. So I'm good. I think if I would have been double parked or something, one of these people that came down here and uh, blew a hole in my budget with a $150, $200 ticket. So that's why I said, let me just wheel this thing and then have a conversation. But I'm back in the... I'm back in uh, Betty White. We're gonna blast this AC. And um, let me get on the phone with this with this with this broker before he get he get missing. I'm gonna tell him how my day went. I'll tap back in.